Hi guys, welcome to art class. Today our learning target is I can draw a chick by using shapes I know, creating a pattern, and coloring carefully. Since we just celebrated Easter, I thought it would be nice to draw a chick, which is a baby chicken. We see a lot of chicks around Easter time because spring is, around, is the time when chicks hatch typically. When a chick hatches from an egg, it uses its special egg tooth, you know, super weird, to chip a little tiny hole in the egg shell. Then it scratches a circle around the biggest part of the egg, like the middle, to make the egg weak. Then it keeps pushing and chipping until, pop, it hatches. Now I know the chicks that I'm showing you aren't what you're used to seeing, a nice fluffy little bird. Well, that's because when the chick is still in the egg, there's also some fluid in there, some, some liquid that helps the chick stay alive. Like the yolk of the egg, the yellow part, that's something that the chick eats to give it energy to hatch. So someday it just has to dry off and grow some extra feathers until it's the cute little chick you're used to seeing. Before we start drawing, make sure you have a piece of paper and something to draw with. The first thing we're going to do is draw the bottom of the egg. So that's the part that looks kind of like a smile. So about in the middle of your paper, you're going to make a big smile, or like a letter U. Then, going from side to side, we're going to make the part that makes it look like the egg is broken. So we're gonna use angled lines for that. Remember that angled lines are lines that are slanted lines that come to a point. Up and down and up and down. Cool. Now we need to draw our chick's head. So we don't want the chick's head to be touching the sharp part of our egg. So we want it to be above it. We're gonna draw an oval. So if you want, you can hover your pencil or your marker first. And then when you feel good about the lines that you're gonna draw, you can make that oval. And it's okay if it's not perfect. Look, mine's kinda lopsided. Now we're gonna make the little feathers on top of our chick's head. So we're gonna do some swirls, some curved lines. So first we curve up and around and around and down. If yours looks different, that's okay. We're gonna do the beak of our bird next. So we're gonna do that like a letter V, kind of like a triangle. And then we're gonna attach the two points on the V with a rainbow. And then our chick has to breathe. So we need to put little nostril holes. For the eyes, you're free to do them however you want. If you want to draw them a different way, I don't care at all. I think it'll be fun to see how you do it. I'm going to use circles. And then I'm going to put two smaller circles inside of them. And it's going to kind of make it look like the light is reflecting or shining off of the chick's eyes. If you want to add eyelashes, that's totally fine too. All right, so we only have a few more things left to do. Our chick is just a head right now, floating above an egg. So we need to draw the chick's shoulders and its body. So we're gonna do a curve line down to touch the egg. Curve line down to touch the egg. Notice how I kept the shoulders inside the egg. Now we're gonna do little wings. The wings are just like candy canes. We're gonna go up and back in, up and back in. And then I'm just gonna draw two like little dashes to kind of show like it's the bird's armpits. <laughs> All right, great job. You drew your egg and your chick. Now we have to make sure that our chick is actually sitting on something. So we're gonna draw the horizon line. The horizon line is a laying down line where the sky touches the land. So ready? 
Start at one edge of your paper, all the way at the edge. Straight line, straight line, straight line. <gasps> Stop, and we hop over our chick and our egg and keep the line going all the way to the other edge. And there you have it. Now, just like in our learning target, I'm gonna fill my egg with a pattern. Remember, a pattern is a shape, picture, or a color that repeats. So what shapes and colors can you pick to make a repeating pattern on your egg? Here are the shapes and colors I used. Remember, I have to repeat whatever shapes and colors that I pick. So I have a blue circle. Then I'm gonna do a red triangle. You do not have to use the same colors and shapes as I am. You can make your own. But let me do another one. What would come next? Blue circle, red triangle. Blue circle. Then red triangle. Blue circle. Red triangle. Blue circle. All right, now I get to color the rest of my chick however I want. Remember, when you color in a shape, you first you outline the shape, which means you make a line around the outside so that your lines can't escape. Then you go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth until there's no white space left in that shape. Thank you so much for drawing with me today. I can't wait to see how they turn out. If you need any help, please feel free to email me, message me on Class Dojo, or leave a comment under the instructions below. The drawing we did today is from a YouTube channel called Art for Kids Hub. It's a really awesome YouTube channel. If you want to learn how to draw more things and you don't want to wait for next week's art video, that is awesome. Please go on their website and learn how to draw some new stuff. Happy art making, guys. I can't wait to see what you make.